<laughs> exactly right. Uh, time now for this hour's car review. Had a chance to drive the 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLS. It comes in three trim levels, basically based on engine size. The available trim levels are the GLS 450, the GLS 580, and the GLS 63. I had the GLS 580, middle of the road one. This is a standard SUV. In what in our terms, it would be more along the lines of a full-size SUV. It's Mercedes-Benz, top of the line SUV. It'll seat up to six passengers with a third row and captain's chairs in the second row. Exterior changes from last model year. This is the third gen uh, version of the GLS. It was introduced originally in 2020. Exterior features include sleek, long, conservative lines with an attractive, modern grill that has a huge Mercedes-Benz TriStar emblem smack dab in the middle of it. Uh, Small side steps from the front to the back doors and integrated quad exhaust tips, very attractive wheels as well. What I liked about it, Mercedes-Benz does it right with this design. You'll think the same thing once you see it. What could use improvement? I just put a big X there because I don't know what could use improvement. I like the overall look of this GLS. Interior highlights, best dash layout in full size form and function, and it stretches two feet across from the left-hand side of the instrument cluster all the way to the infotainment system in the middle of the dash. Subtle ambient lighting that has multiple colors to choose from. The infotainment system is controlled by a touchpad on the center console, or you can touch the screen as well. Beautiful upholstery and comfortable perforated heated and cooled seating. Wow, it's good. Cargo and trunk room, plenty with the third row down. With the third row up, enough for groceries back there. But I liked the beautiful design and the quality throughout the cabin. What could use improvement? Some buttons and control switches are a little bit too small for me and hard to read. They could make those a little bit bigger, I think. The engine that we had was a 4-liter bi-turbo and a mild hybrid combined. 483 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque, which is plenty, through a 9-speed automatic transmission. As far as fuel mileage, 16 city, 21 highway for a combined of 18. That's what it's rated on the sticker. I got 19.4 miles per gallon, over 404 miles. What I liked about it, that smooth V8 power, there is nothing like it. What could use improvement? Nothing. If you want to go to the bigger 63, I think it's over horsepowered, but hey, if you want to blow it out of the water, that's the way to go. Ride and handling, controlled comfort with that air ride suspension. What could use improvement? Well, if you want to go off-roading by the G-Wagon, this is not that. Pricing, base trim price, $101,250. Price is tested $111,995. The base model price is $77,850, and good luck in trying to find one of those. Competitors include the BMW X7 for, surprisingly enough, the same price uh, base model of the uh, Mercedes-Benz, $77,850 for the BMW. The Infiniti QX80, $73,000, and the Lexus LX600 starts at $86,900. Overall, an absolutely stunning and beautiful vehicle. Well, that's my review of the 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLS 580. Get out and drive one if you get an opportunity. Hope you enjoyed the review.